Nigel Farage's TikTok terror threat exposed. Hello everyone, this is Andre Walker. Thanks so much for watching this channel. Please do subscribe, uh, but also hit the bell notification icon because it's the best way to absolutely guarantee you get all of my videos as soon as they are released. Now, I know that Richard Tice and Nigel Farage aren't necessarily the flavour of the month with everybody on the channel at the moment, but I do want to talk about the terror threat that exists against Nigel Farage and some of the problems that he's been having. For many years, Nigel Farage refused police protection and instead went for a private security firm instead. The reason he did that is because of walkabouts. Right, because of the number of people throwing uh, milkshakes and custard pies and rocks or whatever it is that they're doing, most modern politicians can't do a walkabout anymore simply because the police say to them, if you want to do this, we've got to shut the streets in advance, we've got to wand everybody like an airport and do a huge amount of security, the cost being an absolute fortune. Now, I don't blame the police for being extremely reluctant to do this simply because they've got limited resources and we know that... Uh, They've only now really got time to lock people up for saying nasty things on Twitter. They don't have time for people who are actual terror threats. Well, now, of course, Nigel Farage does have police protection. I think, and this is just me, based on a little bit of work I did for Margaret Thatcher, I think he's now a grade A security risk, which means there's an imminent threat to life. The reason I say that is because I've counted four or five bodyguards and there appears to be an armour-plated car. They don't give that to just anybody, and certainly they wouldn't give it to him as a matter of right. And I think the reason is this illegal immigrant who has taken to TikTok saying that, he, that uh, he's got problems with Nigel Farage and has potentially even threatened to kill him. Now... We've been talking about terrorism uh, for months and years, uh, ever since we've had this uncontrolled immigration. And we spend our lives talking this garbage about how it's far-right terror that is the real risk. That is absolute rubbish. The reality is we are bringing people to the country from places like Syria, from places like Lebanon, from places like um, Sudan and uh, Somalia, where there is a great deal of violence. And these people, many of whom have weapons training, are coming to the country and are a threat. Now, I understand that one or two people get drunk and gob off about Adolf Hitler and get thrown in prison. But that is a sop in order to make an excuse for the fact that there are so many Islamic terrorists knocking about. Look, we now need to do something about this and we need to start saying to ourselves that we've got to deport these foreign terrorists. Why are we going to secure every single politician like Nigel Farage? I think that that is going to become prohibitively expensive. But let me tell you about the situation in Finchley and Golders Green. See what you think about this. Mike Freer was perceived to be gay and perceived to be Jewish. Actually, only one of those is true. He was in a relationship with a man. But he was effectively bullied out of being Member of Parliament for Finchley and Golders Green because of threats to his life. And also, his office, the Conservative office, was burnt down. Now, that's a pretty impressive feat, given that the um, office itself was previously Margaret Thatcher's constituency office and so had a whole series of security measures within it. Well, they burnt it down and then he was uh, being threatened with his life and he stood down as a member of parliament. You know what I said? Send in an armoured column if necessary. We need to stop these threats of terrorism against British politicians. We can't have a situation where people are coming to the country and then they're deciding that they're going to kill any politician that they want. And I'll tell you what, the students are absolutely no help either because people make jokes about people throwing milkshakes over Nigel Farage. I don't find it funny at all. I think that that should also be prosecuted as a terrorism offence. And I'm going to explain why. Because when you see these people from Extinction Rebellion throwing soup all over paintings or throwing milkshakes all over Nigel Farage, the concept is very, very simple. It's a veto of one. It's saying that our entire political system, our entire judicial system, our entire legal system revolves around what I personally think. If I don't want a politician to speak, I'm allowed to throw a milkshake over him to shut him up. If I don't want a politician to do a walkabout, I'm allowed to throw a milkshake over him and make sure that he's not able to speak. If I don't want... Uh, if my issue is not being covered in the way that I want it to be covered, then I'm going to throw paint or throw soup all over a painting. It's not acceptable. And I've always said that the reason that people throw milkshakes at Nigel Farage is because they don't have Semtex. Now, you may not 
think that the Islamic terrorists that I'm talking about from TikTok are the same as the Extinction Rebellion people who throw milkshake all over Farage, but I think they are. And let me give you a great example. A friend of mine was working for Nick Clegg when he was Deputy Prime Minister, and the student walked up and reached into his pocket to pull something out. As it happened, it was a petition. But at that moment, the police almost drew their guns and started firing. And my, what my friend said was, his life flashed in front of him. What sort of a society do we live in where we are allowing these people to run amok in the way that they run amok? What about Fathers for Justice climbing on Big Ben? What about these milkshakes? What about the threat to every politician? Now, there will always be terrorists and there will always be risks to this nation. But what on earth are we doing, ladies and gentlemen, by allowing an illegal immigrant to stay in the country when he's threatened to kill Nigel Farage on TikTok? What are we doing when we're allowing students to get together and agree to throw things at politicians? What are we doing when people are exercising a veto of one over uh, who should be allowed to debate in our country? Now, we know that there was the murder of David Amos and Joe Cox, and uh, the latter of which may have been a terrorist attack. The former definitely was. And maybe it was a far-right extremist. And maybe there are people on the far right that are extremely dangerous. But I will tell you, the bigger threat is not one or two extremists, whether left-wing or right-wing. It is the large body of people in things like Extinction Rebellion that believe that they can veto political debate. And it's a large number of military trained young men coming over to the United Kingdom. And let us remember one other thing. Nigel Farage is opposing the idea of illegal immigration into this country. And how is he being rewarded with a threat to his life that is now causing significant pain and hardship to his family, but also the enormous financial cost to the taxpayer. Because let me tell you, six or seven bodyguards and armour-plated vehicles and whatever upgrades they have had to make to his house do not come cheap at all. And it's you, once again, the British taxpayer, that's going to end up paying for it. I say that we need to start deporting the terrorists. We need to start taking real action. Look in the United States of America, where they have that supermax prison, where they can lock people up for the rest of their lives and throw away the key. There is no martyrdom for Abu Hamza in the supermax uh, prison in the United States of America. He sits there, hooks taken off for the rest of his life, and rightly so. Thank you so much for watching this video. By the way, please do make a comment. And thank you to everybody who commented yesterday. What a remarkable 24 hours it's been for the channel, simply because I think 15 or 20,000 of you have watched over the past 24 hours. And we're going to be posting more of these videos. Please do subscribe and hit the bell notification icon. As I always say, it's the best way to absolutely guarantee you get all of my videos until they are released. As soon as they are released. Until next time, goodbye.